Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe Visa and Tutorial Part 4. So this is a continuation to my previous video. In my last video I was explaining about the various characteristics of a Visa and the different keywords and its importance usage while working with Visa. So in this video I would like to share something about working with Visa and data sets using a COBOL program okay let's go ahead and see so we know that there are four visa file organizations that is uh, uh, sequential indexed and relative and line sequential so when i say sequential it refers to esds indexed refers to ksds cluster and relative ref refers to rrds and uh, l uh, line sequential refers to lds okay so so below are the important terms you need to remember while working with the COBOL plus Visa. So assign, organization and access mode. These are the three important keywords. So this keyword is used during mapping between the logical to physical files that is uh, we say select from this to this. So this is important. So organization to indicate it is indexed or sequential file access mode to see whether you are accessing in a sequential order, random order or dynamic order. So let's see an example of a COBOL program. So first we will uh, create a VSAM file. So this is the job card to use the I mean this is the JCL so where I'm creating TSO VSAM dot cluster. So this is uh, the simple VSAM cluster okay so once after doing it so we will write a cobalt program using vsam files so this cobalt program is used to write a records into a vsam file so let's see how to write it so as usual identification division program id environment division input output section and the file control so select WSN file assigned to your physical file organization it should be indexed so you are trying to access mode is random so record key is input EMB ID file status to evaluate the file logic so data division file section employee record uh, file declaration so totally it is of 20 bytes so the same 20 bytes need to be declared in working storage section so in order to uh, handle the file uh, success or end of the file reach so we are declaring two variables 00, zero indicates success end of the file indicates one zero so input uh, record which is of 20 bytes the same it should match with the file declaration structure okay switch procedure division so uh, it's a, we, we know we know that the life cycle of the file structure is open input insert or uh, read or write and uh, close the para so in the same way we will work in the same para so first first perform is to read the para i mean sorry open the open open the file so it goes to whenever it's it encounters this line so it goes to this open para initialize uh, trying to initialize all the different variables input tracks switches and end of the file switch now open your file open your vsam file if ws in file success file open successfully display the form uh, uh, display of file open success on the console area so if there is in some issue file opening error then it straight away you have to exit from this statement so go to a hundred six exit so in the same way uh, input area the next section is input so you will go to this input area accept so from the on the console you are trying to enter the 20 bytes of record so it will accept this and after accepting so you have an insert para so where you will be writing your record into a uh, record from uh, local to the physical file so here is how you write it then close the para so that's it this is a simple COBOL plus uh, VSAM programming so you can uh, uh, you can write your own programming uh, by modifying it or doing anything so so thank you so much for watching this video I will be coming up with more and more videos about the the complete VSAM and uh, or you, you uh, it might be having an, uh, more uh, programmatically and uh, indexed uh, more we'll talk about the more uh, more about the KSDS and its importance. So mostly in real time we use of KSDS, so which is very very important. So thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly please feel free to subscribe me or comment or, or share this on YouTube channel. So have a great and pleasurable day.